bring it right back to 2020. And that's when we started to develop or look at starting to develop our DNI strategy. And I suppose it was really important that we came up with a meaningful strategy that was relevant to our people. And in order to do that, we had to gather some data. And re really, we had no idea kind of how to gather that data because it is sensitive data, maybe data that people aren't comfortable with sharing. And that's when we started to do a bit of research. Okay, how can we gather this? The educational piece is, is very powerful. It's, it's very good. It gets that conversation going. You know, we, we're an insurance company. Naturally, we maybe don't talk about the LGBTQ plus. We do talk about gender a little bit more now with the gender pay gap reporting requirements that came out last year, but it's not a natural conversation. And um, what the app did was kind of open up those conversations, which was really, really powerful. There's obviously the data piece, which is fantastic. There was topics that I hadn't even considered. You were able to capture that in a very non-intrusive way, which I think is really important, and also capture data. People could engage to the extent that they were comfortable to engage. And I think we had a great engagement rate the first time, but the second time it was even better because I think people got more comfortable with saying it's anonymous. They felt safe. It was a safe space that they could engage with. And then the, the user ability. We have 34 offices locally around the country. We have our head office here, and then we have a sports center in Mullingar as well. So finding something that we could engage and reach everybody was really important to us because again, it's that promoting the inclusive culture. So yeah. we need to include everybody in this yeah. um, and we need everybody's feedback. So the fact we could reach all those offices yeah. um, was really, really good. And people could log in five minutes a day. It doesn't eat into their working day. It, it was really, really important to us. So that was really good. Our first stage in our strategy was assessment. So it was assessing our environment. Who are our people? You know, who do we have working here at FBD? And I think that was really, really important. So we invested in the Inclusio tool. And from there, I suppose, we were able to kind of gather a lot of data, which was really important to developing you know, that strategy and to plan our initiatives around the strategy. The second piece was raising the awareness, which was really important because from a HR perspective, the term diversity and inclusion is used so often. And I think we were all familiar with it as a wider organization, it wasn't really sort of part of our natural conversation. So it was like, how do we raise that awareness to bring that into the conversation? So it was the educational piece of Inclusio as well, which was really important. And then lastly, I think for any strategy that you look to implement in the business, you've got to be able to measure and track it. And I think, how do you measure how people feel? So that was yeah. something we were able to get from Inclusio as well, was that sort of I suppose key performance indicators, you know, our different metrics that we look at around our trust, our belonging, our inclusivity. And that kind of set us up for our own kind of goals and ambitions as well. So thankfully that was a fast experience for us, particularly relevant to other implementations we've done. All told three to four weeks, but also the results were quite quick for us to view as well. And the fact that it didn't involve huge input from the company in terms of getting it live was really useful to us. Inclusio really worked well for us because we have uh, quite a wide geographical spread throughout Ireland. We have a national presence. We have a number of different locations with different work types in different areas. And the reason Inclusio really worked for us because it was a level playing field. Everybody got the same experience, but also they could tailor it to their working schedule. So. For some people, it was easier to come on first thing in the morning, for others, maybe mid-afternoon. And it really worked from that perspective because we knew that everybody was getting a chance to take in the same information and to access the same programs. So it was a real success from that perspective. We're challenged regularly in reaching our staff in a, in a standard way, and Inclusio really helped us to achieve that.